Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So the past two days, YouTube has been filled with uh, this new glitch where you transfer mods from the MOC, the Terabyte or the Avenger on to your plane or car. So all the videos I've seen, even from the originator himself, are all on consoles, particularly the PS4. I haven't seen one for PC yet, so um, I sort of um, watch the videos and I am going to try them out. So I'm just here at my bunker just to let you see what my MOC looks like, the colors and um, what, whatever mods it has on. So I'm going to do a quick teleport into the city. And from there, I am going to repeat all the steps that they listed to find out if this really works for PC. Right now, I'm just going to run over to my nightclub just to check out my terabyte, just to let you see how my terabyte looks so that you can actually recognize whether the mods did transfer later. Yeah, so it kind of looks boring. I'm just going to um, upgrade it a little. I won't bore you with the specifics. I'm going to speed up the video even more. I think this glitch is good for those who already have mods on their Terabyte or MOC or Avenger. And that would require some third-party program, which I do not have and I do not use. So for those of you who don't do third-party mods, um, this is pretty pointless, I would say. But nevertheless, it's a, it's a good glitch, you know. People found it. I admit that it's a glitch that can be used. I stand by the glitching community that we have to find out what works and it will be up to the individual user or viewer to see whether or not they want to perform that glitch. And it doesn't hurt to actually know a bit more as to how the game works. And I know that now because the MOC uh, was patched, so actually PC players are waiting for more glitches to come by. I acknowledge that and um, I'm going to tell you that I am still trying. All right, so my terabyte is upgraded. So it's this color. Next, I am going to look for a car to use in the glitch, preferably a car which I have not upgraded at all so that you guys can see all the things that go on to the car. Nope, not this garage, probably the next one. So let's go to the next one. And here we are. I think I will use the Sentinel Classic. It's been sitting there for the longest time. It hasn't been upgraded yet. And we'll see whether we can actually transfer the mods from the MOC or the terabyte onto the car. So let's just get out of the nightclub. And I think I should have driven the car out actually. Um, I'm just going to go back in to retrieve the car. Okay, so I'm out here with the car. So I guess what I need to do next is to get a wanted level so the police can come and get me and kill me and therefore impound the car. So let's do it. So while I'm doing that, if you haven't already, do drop a like and subscribe so that you get notified of more quality content that's gonna come your way. For those who have already subscribed, thank you for your support. You are the people who keep me going and going and providing more content, more quality content for everyone. Okay, and I finally got wasted. So what comes next is to call the Kosaka in, that's your submarine, and immediately call your assistant to retrieve your car in the impound. I have to do this as fast as I can. So when you see the top left mention that the Kosaka or your submarine has already spawned, it means you have failed. Failed to do it fast enough. And then next you will see your So let's try to do it again. Okay, I changed my location. I am still in the same session. Let's try that all over again. First, I'll call in the submarine. Immediately after that, I will call the assistant and retrieve my impounded car. Now you will know if you are successful if you never receive a message on the top left saying that your submarine has spawned. After that, just wait a few moments because I think the car needs time to spawn or merge with the sub. Okay, I think enough time has gone by. Let's just open the map and see where the car is. So you see the car is in the sea. So that's telling you the glitch is still working. So now the next step, I will call in the MOC. So when the MOC spawns into the session or onto the map, you're supposed to see your original car spawn somewhere near you 
while the MOC spawns in another location and you will be able to see it on the map. So let's just try that. Okay, so I have now called in the MOC. Go away, Simeon. And then I'll just grab a streetcar and drive to where the MOC will spawn. I think I can see it on the map already. It's just right there. So if the glitch works correctly, I should be able to see a modded car where my MOC is. As the car is supposed to have all the upgrades transferred from the MOC, and there it is. Well, it's got the same color, and it's pretending to be my MOC. So I think it's working great up till now. It seems that the car has got all the upgrades from the MOC. So what comes next is to save the car in the MOC. So I'm just going to drive it to the back and um, save it inside. And in order to do this, your MOC needs to have the third bay configured as a personal storage location. I know I get these questions all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive it into the back of the MOC. It is going to so-called save. You will see the orange circle on the bottom right. And then I will exit the MOC and I will go to um, creator. And after that, I will log back in. Because as what they had shown, this is how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to save it here. You log off, you log on. It's still going to be there. So let's just try that and see whether it happens. I'm wishing it does because then I get a free car and I free get a free car that's been upgraded. Now before we go into creator mode, let's just check if the Sentinel Classic that was from the nightclub garage, just to check if it is still there. Well, apparently it is not. Or maybe it's stuck out on the map somewhere. The next thing that I am going to check is to see whether I can actually call it out from the MOC. So open the interaction menu, go to services, uh, MOC, and um, it says my car is already nearby. So we can't spawn it any, anyway, so doesn't matter. Um, let us just go to creator mode and then just spawn back in and see if the car is still there. Okay, we've spawned back in. Let's just call the car out from the MOC. Oh, now we can call it. So we'll just bring it out and see if the upgrades uh, did stick through the sessions. Because if they did, it would be awesome. And that will prove that it actually does work on PC as well. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm just going to call a mechanic and see if the original car that was supposed to be in the nightclub garage is still there. All right, we can see that it is not. So it definitely must be in the MOC. So let's quickly request for the vehicle from the MOC and we'll find out. Okay, I see the car on the map and no, it is, um, it has reverted back to the original status. So it seems that nothing was transferred. I guess this basically means that it does not work um, yeah, the glitch does not work for PC. Or may I say that the glitch with the MOC does not work for PC. I've done all the steps exactly the same as what they did. And we even got to see the upgraded version of the Sentinel Classic. So this doesn't work um, with the MOC. It can, uh, it can transfer the mods, but it does not stick. Once you change sessions, you lose everything. The car goes back to normal. So what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try with the terabyte and see if the terabyte works uh, instead. So you've already seen the steps. I'm not going to repeat them. Um, I'm just going to let you see the video. I'm going to speed it up and you can see for yourself in the end whether the terabyte works uh, for the car. Again, do drop a like and subscribe so that you get notified of more quality content that I always put up and I'm always open for comments. But for now, I'll just let this video run.
So we've gone this far, I think it's time for the final reveal. And yes, the mods did transfer over from the Terabyte to the Sentinel Classic. It's got the right colors, it's got the right wheels. So now the final test is to actually bring this to a garage to save it. I'm just going to bring it to one of my apartment garages since that's the only garage that I know that still has a bit of space. And once we bring it in to save, the next step from there, um, I think uh, mo some of you will know already, is to go to creator mode and then back to an invite only session. That's one of the best ways to test if the mods will stick. And that's how I've been doing it in all my other glitches. Well, until it got patched. All right, so pause menu, go to creator mode. Once you are in creator mode, just press the pause menu button again, that's P, and then you choose invite only session. So now that we are back in session, let's go into the garage and see what the car has given us. Hopefully it transfers, then I won't have to look for another glitch for everyone. But unfortunately, I don't think it worked. So the terabyte to car transfer does not work as well. I mean, it worked for the session, but once you leave the session or you leave the game and you come back, uh, it reverts back to normal. I'm just going to drive out. And um, while I am outside, I'm going to call the mechanic as well to see if, if uh, this car was even duplicated. Because if it was, then there is at least some use for it, right? So let me look for the nightclub garage. Uh, that should be B3 and is, is not there. So this car that I'm driving right here now is the exact same car that came out from the nightclub garage. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but this is just a PSA to tell you that the glitch does not work on PC. So you actually don't have to waste your time trying. But don't worry, I'll get more glitches for you um, sooner than you think. Hint, hint. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys very, very soon. In the next video, of course.